World War II ended almost 80 years ago, but justice still hasn't come for some of its worst war criminals. The clock is ticking as some participants in the Holocaust reached the last years of their lives. Some say they were young, just following orders, or ignorant to the extent of the atrocities. Are those excuses valid? Courts are saying no. In 1939, the Nazis built the Stutthof internment camp, located just east of Danzig in modern Poland, as a prison to house political enemies. Two years later, it became a special camp for the Stutthofel, or SS, and in January 1942, Stutthof officially became a concentration camp for imprisoned Jews. One of the survivors of the camp, Manfred Goldberg, told BBC News about his experience. He was sent there in 1943 as a 13-year-old boy for slave labor. He recalled the time he spent there with hundreds of other prisoners, repairing railway tracks that were destroyed by the Allied forces. He was then sent to two other camps before he was brought back to Stutthof in 1944. By the time the war ended in September 1945, it's estimated that a total of 115,000 prisoners were sent to Stutthof, and 65,000 died there. Some were executed by gas chamber or lethal injection, while others died of starvation or illness. Every single day, if I was still alive at the end of the day, it meant I had won the lottery that day. In December 2022, decades after the war had ended, one of the people who worked at Stutthof was finally convicted of being an accessory to more than 10,000 deaths. Irmgard Fertner was just 18 years old when she started working as a secretary at Stutthof. After an investigation that began in 2016, Fertner was charged with a massive amount of crimes in 2021 in northern Germany. According to the Washington Post, the official precise charges were 11,412 counts of accessory to murder and 18 counts of accessory to attempted murder. On the day of her trial, however, she didn't appear in court. Instead, it appears she tried to flee. The Guardian says that she left the care home where she resided early in the morning and traveled by a taxi to a nearby metro station. A warrant for her arrest was issued and she was apprehended a few days later. A doctor examined the then 96-year-old Fürchner to check whether she was healthy enough to be detained by authorities. She was. Despite her advanced age at the time of her arrest, she was just 18 and then 19 years old when she worked as a civilian at the Stutthof concentration camp. As a result, the decision was made to try her in a juvenile court. During the trial, the prosecution stated that although Furkner didn't directly kill people with her own hands, she was fully aware of what was happening to the concentration camp. They also argued that she willingly did her duties as the personal typist and stenographer of Stutthof's commander. In response, Furtner's defense team argued that it couldn't be proven beyond a reasonable doubt that she knew about the killings while she worked at the camp. However, survivors have testified that it would have been impossible for her not to know what was going on. According to her, the true nature of the place would have been clear to her the moment she stepped into Stutthof. The German media dubbed Furkner the Secretary of Evil. It's an impossibility for her not to have become aware of what was happening. Evidence against Furkner built up quickly during the trial. Prosecutors pointed out that she would have been able to see the thousands of prisoners entering the camp through her office window. They also argued that she couldn't have possibly missed the smoke that came from the camp's crematoriums or been oblivious to the smell of the burning bodies. Survivors spoke at the trial, too, describing some of the atrocities committed in the open at the camp. Some desperate and dying prisoners were said to have used the electric fence surrounding the camp as a way to end it all. Some of them, periodically, shuffled towards the electrified fence to end their suffering by electrocuting themselves. The Washington Post says that Berkner served as a witness in several cases brought against former Nazi officials during the 1950s. In her own testimony, she stated that she often saw letters written to Stutthof Commandant Paul Werner Hoppe about the camp's operations and that she was personally responsible for typing out execution orders given by him. At the age of 97 years old, Furkner was found guilty of being an accessory to 10,505 murders and an accessory to five cases of attempted murder at the concentration camp. For all this, she was given a suspended sentence of two years. Holocaust survivors shared their experiences as Furkner quietly sat in a wheelchair all throughout the trial. It was only at the end that she finally spoke and said, I am sorry for everything that happened. I regret that I was in Stutthof at that time. 